these are the ways to monetize your content, whether it's social media, YouTube, podcasts, or any other types of content without ads running on your content. Now we all know the way that you can actually upload YouTube videos and then turn on ads and ads are run on your video and if somebody views it or clicks on the ad, then you get paid for that. Now, unless you actually have a massive following or you're getting massive views on your channel or even on TikTok videos or Instagram videos, that's how some creators get paid. Unless you're, you've are you gained millions of views, millions of subscribers, followers, there's not really any kind of significant income that can come from AdSense that will come into your pipeline if you're uploading content. So the question begs, how do I actually make money? Is there ways to make money without having that turned on? Obviously, we want to work towards monetization. That's what it's called is monetization. So we want to work towards that. There's a certain threshold that you have to hit with YouTube in order to be able to have uh, ads turn on your videos and have monetization enabled. So we want to get to that because obviously that's a destination that would be nice when you upload content, people view it, then you're going to get paid for it, right? But before you get there, there's kind of some stops that you can make along the way and continue once you get your channel monetized that is going to help you make money. Now, essentially, I'm going to be talking to business owners. If you're a business owner and you're utilizing these platforms to upload content to market your business, this is what I'm talking about. If you're a creator and you're somebody that doesn't have a business, you're just putting out videos of a hobby that you do or whatever it is, this will still be semi-relevant. However, I'm talking specifically to business owners that are leveraging social media, YouTube podcasts, and content to be able to market their business specifically. So here are the couple of ways. The first way that most people never even think about that is a given and should be done on every single piece of content that you ever put out organically in a tasteful way is talking about your own products or services. This is a really big missed opportunity that a lot of people just don't think about because they are so focused on getting their channels monetized that it's literally just putting out videos, putting out videos, putting out videos, and there's no, there's really no direction or uh, call to actions that are being implemented in their videos. So how do you do this without, you know, going over the line, sounding salesy, being too pitchy, and that sort of thing? Well, in some previous videos that I put out, I talk about my 90-10 rule. 90% of the content that you put out should be valuable, whether that's entertainment, education, or information. And then 10% should be call to action. So that's your opportunity to say, hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Or if you like this video, make sure you go click the link in my bio to learn more about working with me or send me a DM to get this free download or whatever it is. That's your opportunity to be able to do that is that 10% of your video. Now, 90% of it organically, if we're specifically talking about organic content, should be based around value, whether that's you're putting out value, um, teaching people how to invest in real estate, you're teaching people how to invest, you're entertaining, whatever it is. Really focus on that split and that's going to help. However, make sure that you do talk about your products and services, especially if you are a business owner. Now, whether that's highlighting a specific product that you have, that's obviously one way that you could do it. So let's say that you um, have a coffee shop and you have a new drink that has come on the menu. You know, doing a video on how to make that drink and you know, obviously you're intending on people to come in to drink it, but showing them is a really good way to show the effort and the love and the attention that goes into making that specific drink and then people will come in because they see how good it looks or how it, you know how it's interesting them and that sort of thing. That's a really good way to draw people in to actually come and buy from you, right? And so for me, specifically, I'm teaching people how to do content on their own because I have a marketing service that will actually manage fully social media, YouTube, and podcasts for clients organically. So we literally do start to finish. Uh, production and distribution, but I want to teach people how to do it because it helps deliver value and authority in my space. So that's kind of the leading forefront with, you know, value. If you lead with value, you're going to establish authority and credibility, which will cause people to trust you essentially, and then purchase from you. But they're not going to purchase from you if they don't already know what you do and the products and services that you actually have to offer. So continuously talking about that on your content is highly important. That's the number one way that you monetize your content. And you can do that from the first piece of content before you get any subscribers, before you get any views, you can do that on your first piece of content. Just make sure it's very tasteful and it's not super salesy and not like in your face and you're leaving, leading with value. That's the way to do it.
The next way to monetize your content, which there's really only two ways that you can actually do this without you know having ads run on there. Obviously, that would be the third way, and there's plenty of other ways that you can you know monetize your content and make money on it and that sort of thing. But these are just the core ways to do it that are you know could significantly impact your bottom line and bring some income through the door. So the first one is your own products and services. As highlighting those, the second thing is affiliates. Now, affiliates, if you're not familiar with it, is basically Let's take, for instance, if I have a product, if I'm reviewing this Logitech mouse and I'm going to be talking about it on my video, it's literally the the video is a review video of this Logitech mouse, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to show the features of it, I'm going to give the pros and cons and all that, and then I'm going to say, if you're interested in purchasing this, make sure you click the link below, and it might take you to my Amazon affiliate program or my uh, Best Buy affiliate link or whatever it is. But as soon as you click on that and you click purchase, I get a kickback of a certain percentage of that happening. Now, in this business world, I have, uh, I'm have i in the real estate investing space pretty significantly. I've been in the space for 13 years. And there's a lot of education out there. There's a lot of softwares. There's a lot of platforms for people to use, CRMs, uh, skip tracing services, you name it. Like There's all kinds of stuff that is out there as a product or a service that is in this real estate investing space. So what happens is I'm a part of a pretty vast network of people that collaborate and affiliate all day long, and it's a really big economy within itself. So let's take, for instance, my services that I provide content marketing for people. I have an affiliate agreement with a certain platform that has marketing systems set in place, but they just don't do what I do, but they believe what I do is valuable. It could be a good plug-in system to what they have to offer to their customers. So they'll tell people, hey, we also manage social media. We also manage YouTube content. So they'll bring people into the pipeline for them and then fish them my way. And then now I'm gonna be paying them if I work with that person because they sent them to me and then they get a kickback of what I make. That's an affiliate program. So there's a lot of ways to be able to do this. You can get real creative. The number one tip that I can give you when it comes to affiliates is making sure that it's in alignment with what you do. For example, again, that example that I gave, that software, that platform that has an affiliate program with me, they work specifically in the real estate investing space as well, just like I do. So it's in a perfect alignment with what I do. Um, there's a, a local coffee shop called Fluid Coffee, good friends of mine that own the, the coffee shop. And they will get, you know, they don't, they make food and stuff like that, but it's primarily coffee. It's a cafe style thing. But maybe they get a local, they've done collaborations with a local like brewery or a local distillery or whatever, and they can do a bourbon drink. I know right now, coming around Halloween, they have a drink called The Raven, I think. And they have a bourbon drink and there's probably a really good collaboration system with that to introduce the audiences together. But I'm sure there's some sort of an affiliate agreement between them if, you know, the bourbon at the coffee shop gets purchased, you know, the coffee shop gets a kickback because it's their platform that they're advertising it on. But the bourbon is sold from that company. So there's a lot of really good ways to do this. Now, there's plenty of other YouTube videos out there that teach people how to do affiliates properly, but this is one of the biggest ways that you can actually get monetized on your content is doing it that way. Now, of course, there's people out there that have started channels that are specifically reviewing tech and that sort of thing. And they're obviously like getting, you know, major kickbacks on the affiliates if they have a large audience. And that can be a really, really good source of income. But Again, if I have a certain platform that I work with or a certain, maybe I work with a CPA, I can kick people to that CPA, get an affiliate. Maybe I talk about them on a video or whatever, or I even interview them and then I'm introducing my audience to them. That's a great way to get an affiliate. So that's the second way to get your content monetized. Then of course, the third way, like I've already mentioned, is the ads. Now that's a level that you have to reach. You have to earn that, right? You can't just start that from day one affiliates and monetizing and talking about your own products and services, that can be done on day one. That could be done on the very first piece of content that you put out. But getting monetized on these platforms, it takes a process. So focus on highlighting your stuff first and then affiliates and working those in with each other. And then as long as you're executing the proper fundamentals on these platforms, at some point you will be having your monetization turned on. And with the services that I offer, we've had plenty of channels that we manage where they put out content consistently. They've made money right off the bat because of the method that I'm teaching here. They made money right off the bat because of they're talking about their products and services, their programs, 
and then affiliates, and then they get monetized, and now they have triple uh, a triple source of income that's coming in just from their content. So work your way up that way. Most people want to start that way. Most people, the only destination they want to get to is monetization, but they're missing the first two opportunities that can really, really generate a lot of income. And for some people that I work with, it just just completely eclipses the income that monetization can bring in until you get maybe a million subscribers or half a million subscribers or whatever that number is. So hopefully that helps somebody today. I wanted to get your mindset on track, especially if you are a business owner listening to the right sources of income when it comes to content, because content should be highlighted. Obviously, like if you're utilizing step number one for me is utilizing the content as marketing, this is essentially going to by default monetize your content because you're talking about your own products and services as it is. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for joining me for just a few minutes that I spent here. If you have any questions or you want to leave any further comments, drop a comment down below and then make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.